Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah and today we're going to be doing a little overview of Lumpinu. I hope I pronounced their name right. LGBTQIA plus mod. And version 1 focuses on base systems, bringing sims a variety of gender identities, romantic orientations, and sexual orientations, making them react accordingly unless you turn that off. Future versions will be able to feature more gameplay additions for more natural self-discovery and other such things. So when you click on your sim, you have this option, orientation identity, and you click on that and all these things pop up. So we're going to go through the main ones. So I want to choose her orientation identity. So what gender does Yang most identify with? You have all of these options. So I'm just going to go with female cis. And then when they ask how does your sim experience romantic attraction, you can click any of these. I'm going to go with demi romantic for her. And then what types of sims does your sim feel romantically attracted to? And I'm just going to click by romantic for this sim. How does they experience sexual attraction? You can click any of these. And then who does your sim usually feel attracted to? And so I'm just going to click feminine sims. And then when you have a sim talking to that sim, they have the opportunity to ask about their pronouns, but also ask about identity and orientation. So it says Yang is female, so gender, demi romantic, bi romantic, allosexual, sexually attracted to feminine sims. And then I had her ask about her pronouns and she learned that her pronouns are she, her. Additionally, you have global settings. So when you click on that, you have all of these. So basically you just go through them. And so if you want to have orientation and identities to have impact, you check that on. And then some things are automatically checked on. Some things are automatically checked off. So attraction based on orientations and identities, I have that checked on and then allow user directed woohoo for non-romantic relationship types off. And then you basically just read through all these. I'm not going to read through all these because that would be kind of pointless, but you also could pick percentages. So for example, you want a percentage of non heterosexual sims and it ha automatically generates something. I typically have it at 50% because I want my world to be gay as hell. <laughs> <laughs> so you hit modify setting and then so of NPCs, 50% will identify as non-heterosexual. If you want non-cisgender sims, you could change that percentage to whatever you want. You could have it at 100%, 20%, and that applies to pretty much everything. Additionally, um, you could audit with sign LGBTQIA plus features to NPCs or not. I have that clicked on and you can give auto assignments to played sims i that's automatically checked off but i have that checked on there are a bunch of things that you can just go through and figure out which you want for your game initially there are these things called extra aspects so you could have a sim that is closeted or just out or identifies as queer or won't kiss unless i'm romantically attracted to a sim some of these don't actually have any gameplay like impact just yet i don't think out and proud does but the creator says that they will add that later on there are also these things called unexpected crushes and queer platonic relationships so you can add an unexpected crush which basically is used for storytelling purposes where say a sim thinks that they are romantically attracted to the opposite sex and then they have an unexpected crush and all of a sudden they're questioning themselves so that's cool for little storytelling purposes i think at the moment you have to do it like yourself and like assign it but in the future the creator says that they will try to add a feature where it kind of happens on its own you also have queer platonic relationships between sims you change your sims pronouns and then change shuffle or move orientations or identities for any sim so you could just kind of reshuffle orientation and stuff for whatever sim that you choose if you want to change it i have it on so npcs are auto generated some type of orientation so when you click on a sim and then i ask her about her identity it says that that sim is female, cisgender, alloromantic, panromantic, allosexual, and pansexual. So yeah, all NPCs have their own gender identity and sexual orientation. So those are pretty much all the main features of the mod at the moment. There are some, you know, obviously it has an impact of gameplay. For example, my sim was a couple days ago I was playing and my sim was attracted to a sim that was demisexual. So they had to, you know, kind of build up their relationship. And when she, you know, tried to kiss her too soon, their relationship went down a bunch because she was uncomfortable with that. So there are a lot of impacts to gameplay. Obviously, if a sim states that they're attracted to feminine sims and your masculine sim tries to hit on them, I don't think that they will <laughs> be into it at all. 
So yeah, that's a cool little feature. I like those little things in the game. But that's pretty much the main features of the mod at the moment. I will link down below the download page for the mod and also the page on their website that has all of the written, more specific details of the mod if you want to go through. It's a lot of stuff, that's why I made this video because it's a lot to read if you want to read the entire page. Also make sure you read all the compatibility requirements and like issues. So for example with MC Woohoo, you can't have no strings woohoo on that conflicts with the mod and there are some wicked whims and wonderful whims settings that you have to change in order to make it work. I hope you enjoyed this like, subscribe, all that good stuff and hopefully I will see you in the next video and I hope this was helpful. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Bye bye.